Yeah, yeah. my brother died. Yeah. That what they just told you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, that's what I told you, and that's what I told him. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's wild, man. Local or is it, is it like? It's local. Are you all the way down? Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Yep. Stopping at North Elizabeth, so. Stopping at North Elizabeth, that's, that's about as local as you can get. It's not a right on stop. That's why I was psyched when they said North Elizabeth to stop at North Elizabeth. Because fucking North Elizabeth is right there. You, go, you get off the fucking train, you go through the corner, you go down the fucking block. One block, then you get in the park, you go down the other side of the park, and it's fucking, it's like the whole fucking drive to the park and fucking trucks. <laughs> everything right there. Really? Yeah. All of them. Wow, wow, wow. The whole fucking, the whole area. Yeah. Lit up. What do you want? What do you need? That's cool. We got it. That's cool. Come and get it. Yeah, I've been taking these trains. I, I was I was working in Newark for uh, for Blue Cross Blue Shield. That's the last that's the last kind of like job that I had as a program. I was a programmer for 25 years. Oh really? Yeah, corporate America. Yeah, corporate America. I was a programmer. So I did software for, for companies. I, I, last job I had was in Newark uh, for Blue Cross Blue Shield. But that was an 18 month contract, and then they after three months, you know, after, after two months they cut. They came back and they said. Uh, we're going to be laying off everybody here, including you. We want, so we're going to cut you, you, you know, cut the contract down to only three months. But we want you to stay an extra month um, to train your replacement from India. I said, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I did. Like, really? It's like, so I so I stayed there for a couple. Of, it was a couple of days, and I was just watching everybody walking around with like fucking like, you know, them, the people had fucking you know families with the kids and into college and shit. They were laying them off. Fifty year old people, sixty year old people, or fifty five year old people. Like no way they're going to go out and get a job, man. All these people laid off, and I was like, I was, I was so pissed off. A couple of days, I was so pissed off. And then my boss was me, okay, so on, on, uh, on Friday, you're gonna, you're gonna, the guy from India is gonna be coming, and we want you to start the Indian, you know, the train, oh, train, the, the Indian train, guy, yeah, yeah, train, train him, train yeah, him, yeah, to do, yeah, to pay you half, yeah, what? Pay you half, you'll pay him all the half. It, we were, we were getting paid like between fifteen, seventy-five dollars an hour for the same work in India was five dollars an hour. Man. That's why they went. That's why they opened all those fucking. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. They went over it. Yeah, yeah. So that's why they 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 they. Yeah, they, sure, sure, yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, so so then so then the game. Oh. So I was really pissed off that day. I was really pissed off. So then the guy comes over and says, "Oh, I'm a replacement from India. You know, uh, uh, he, I was supposed to be training. I said, yeah, he's supposed to be training. All right. I was really, okay. Give me give me like give me like five minutes, right? So I sit there, right? I said, <laughs> motherfucker. So I, long, I so now, so now I'm in charge of like my my copy software. I, I get I, as, a, as a as a as a programmer, I get access to all the emails, right? The emails from the company. I write this long ass fucking email about how unethical uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield is, you know, for doing this shit to people that you know that are working here. They they give cheap insurance to New York Jersey residents, from all the clients in Jersey, but then they go outsource their work for them. You know? And they, they got I, I said a long long email, and I sent that shit to everybody in the company. Right? I waited five minutes, right? Five minutes, you know, man. <laughs> I waited five minutes, and the guy from, from my, my, my controlling company comes up and he goes, Hi, I'm your your your, uh, your contact here. I said, I never met the guy. Said, yeah, they decided to, to, to terminate your job as of today. <laughs> I, said, I, said, I said, okay, that's fine. Am I going to still get unemployment? I said, yeah, you're going to unemployment. Like, all right, so then I'm going to have to escort you out. You have to pack all your stuff. I was packing all my stuff. I was packing all my stuff. The other people at my job, they were there. I, as I got up, they basically all like clapped as I was walking out, right? <laughs> you know, kind of like a fucking uh, uh, McGuire thing, whatever that shit's called. So yeah, I, 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 um, I, I, that's the last job I had. I sat out there for a while, going like, you know what? I'm not gonna do this shit no more. I'm tired of fucking this work. No more. And then I, then I went to Occupy Wall Street. I was fucking up. Uh, you know. I don't go through the same shit with AT and T, bro. Yeah, oh, you did. He said his job became obsolete. Yeah. Really, he was getting replaced. They were sending all the fucking all the work over to India. Yeah, yeah, yeah. AT and T. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was he was a big deal with AT and T. He was making a lot of fucking money, yeah, man. Yeah, and that's he just bought a fucking townhome and everything. That's what I saw people all around me freaking do. But he's a hustler though, so he yeah. he, he bought like six vending machines and started doing yeah. a bunch of shit. He yeah. Programming on the side. Yeah, yeah. For people, yeah. all kinds of shit. Yeah. So he made it through, but still, yo, 
They're fucked up. I know. Clinton did that shit. I know, man. Clinton, when Clinton took office, that's that's who started the outsourcing all the work. Yeah, I know. That's when that's when the re recession happened. Yeah, I know. Clinton did yep. that shit. He started that shit. The Democrats are fucking terrible with that. The yeah. Republicans they try to keep the work here. Yeah, but the Republicans are just sell, bad. They sell, they the, sell the, it. The Republicans are just bad because the Republicans cut cut social programs like what you're getting right now. Like they they would cut that shit, man. So so it's 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 like they're both bad, man. They're both they both all they do is argue back and forth, man. You know, trying to get money for you know, it's, 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 it's a joke. They're, they're, it's a, they call it a political surface for a reason. It's a surface. You watch these fucking clowns making making fighting each other. And wasting time as they get the salaries, they never get it off, right? Politicians well, never get it off. The people that they the whole they never they get, they get their money every day. Baby, they get their money every day. But then they, they then then they, they fight back and forth between you know, the outsourcing thing on one side, and the other side is the fucking is the cutting, cutting, cutting social program. So no matter what, the poor people always get poor power always gets fucking slammed hard, man. Right? Sure. It's a joke. The political system is a joke, man. You get taxed hard or you... Everyone. Yeah, man. One way or the other. You get taxed hard or, or, you, or you're cutting programs. Cutting programs until, until you know, until you got nothing, man. down to the last stop uh, so I had to get off and then get back on and I'm on my way and they only gave me one ticket to, to you know to, to take and I don't I don't have any money now I'm trying to get back to Elizabeth and the guy could have to look at me look, look at the, at, the, at my my my, uh, my scooter and he's like you know it is other guy put it back in so at least the, at least the conductors are compassionate for the, for, I mean you know. okay so that wasn't my story but I still don't have any money and I need to go somewhere so I mean, at least, the, at least the, the compassion level is there with some of these guys. Some of these guys might not be as compassionate, but, you know. Um, and yeah, it's just... Uh, uh, scooter and bike. Yeah, it's good. Um, it's, it's an adventure, right? Yeah? <laughs> adventure. <laughs> that's, again, that's why I repeat what I was trying to say. Once you live this kind of lifestyle, to, to expect this person to go into rehab, uh, rehab, and then and then and then and then just go sit behind a desk for eight hours and go back to the normal life within a few months, maybe even sooner, that just goes away. You're like, what the hell am I doing here? You know, this life, it 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 it, it it's an adrenaline rush because. You know, I didn't know if I could get on. So he had it. No, no problem. Don't worry, don't worry. You're going to get on. Don't worry. I'm like, I, 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 don't, I don't know if I can... You know, I mean, I can't lie. I, I mean, I, I'm not that good of... You know, I mean, I, you know, so... That, that was going through my mind. I said, as soon as... It's, <coughs> you see, so funny. You know, so I sat down. Um, what was it? Yeah. Told the story and... You know, I said, okay. I 
I mean, used to more New York friends where you just you just jumped to certain style and like, walked it, and then you know, you don't have to worry about anybody asking for food. On the road to Zion. Train hopping. <laughs> this is the train spying, this is train hopping. <laughs> yeah. Boring town, a lot we're doing is riding back and forth. We're gonna have no money, riding back and forth, you know, from, from, from 7 Eleven to, to Wawa's, hoping somebody will send me money, or hoping, you know, I don't know, somebody like him will come along that I can at least hop along with and just go for the ride and maybe, like, you know, document some of this stuff. And, Finding cure for cancer. We could be focused on, 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 on finding a way to take care of the planet, right? take care of Mother Earth, right? and still be in line with her enough to communicate with her. And as, as things are coming our way, you know, Mother Earth can, can tell you if an asteroid is going to hit. Mother Earth can tell you. She, she, she knows everything that's going on out there. But she's not going to tell you because you're killing her. That's like somebody being tortured and then. And then, and then you, and then you ask, yeah, and then ask them to do your favor, and, and, you know, and let me know, let me know whenever you know, whenever is, you know, something's happening, and, and, and they're like, well, you're torturing me. Why, why should I do that? You're torturing this family. Why should she do that to you? That's the difference between what you guys do and what the tribal about just said. Okay, those, 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 those pyramids, those, those temples, those, all those places that were built across this way. Those people that built them, they were connected to Mother Earth. She told them how to build them so that they, so they, they could go through <laughs> years and years, centuries and, and, and you know, thousands of years, some of them, uh, uh, of, of not collapsing. No earth, no, earth, no, no, no nothing, you know, strongly built. And, 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 and still to this day, we can match the, 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 the you know, they had a connection to, they had a connection to Mother Earth. They had a connection to this planet and the universe. They communicated with the spirit guides that had that guided them. They know what's happening, what's gonna to happen to us. But they won't tell you because you won't even acknowledge their existence. You're just gonna throw people people that are telling you about them into a cage. And that's and that's and that's what it is. That's what it is and that's what it's gonna be. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna end it for now again. Um, I don't want to cut out anything out of this, you know, that's the thing. I don't want to have to cut anything out of this. But there might be a point that I have to. Uh, because to incriminate anybody. I'm doing this specifically in a, in a documentary level. I'm never, I'm, I'm not a filmmaker, or I'm not a, never made a documentary before, but I've just been making these video stages. It seems very eerily like a document, like a, 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 a documentary. The problem is I don't, have, I don't have money for a good, a good camera. I don't have money for good equipment. I sure as hell have no money to pay these guys for, 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 for their time. I'm just tacking along. Yeah, that's good.
next stop. Yeah, I'm not gonna say it.